Travis Matthew Anton was the manager, producer, and ghostwriter for the very controversial early internet adult star Delia Day. The thing is, though, they were married. Delia was Travis's wife, aka Susan, and she killed him. Despite being the victim in this case, Travis has been very overlooked. So here is a little bit about him. Travis was born on the 30th of January 1970 in Alabama, though when he was like six months old, his uh, parents moved to Mississippi where his mom was from. His mom, Wiley, and his dad, Clarence, were both social workers at the time, and they moved to Lexington, Mississippi, where the Antons had a uh, farm. Travis essentially grew up as an only child until like the age of seven, when his younger brother Richard was born. Like a year later, their dad left. He was just done with the marriage, and they never saw him again. This was devastating for Travis. Um, he was old enough to remember it. Richard wasn't. He was like a toddler at the time, but Richard told me that Travis took it really hard and that their dad had made them like, you know, baby stuff out of wood because um, Travis's dad and his grandfather and Travis himself were all very into woodworking and carpentry. And Travis took all of those things that his dad made him and like threw them in the, or he chopped them up for wood. The crazy thing too is that their dad had been married previously and had six kids before Travis and Richard and his previous wife had filed for de desertion. So I guess he has a habit of that. And he had never paid child support for any of those six kids. Now that his dad was gone, he was like the man of the house. And especially because they lived on a farm, it was a lot of responsibility. Travis later wrote online, he said, my life was harsh and so am I. Here is a picture of Travis here in the corner with his Boy Scout troop. He was very into the Boy Scouts and then the Eagle Scouts. So that was like years of influence in his upbringing. Because they lived out in the middle of nowhere, there wasn't a lot to do and there, <laughs> there weren't many options for friends, but the Boy Scouts was something that he really enjoyed. Travis was very creative. He was constantly coming up with ideas for things he wanted to do or make. He loved woodworking and painting and drawing. He won a couple art fairs. Travis was different. He was very, very intelligent. And Richard said that in high school, they got bullied. And I know there's a seven year difference there, but they both had similar experiences. Um, but in high school, they were bullied basically for not being jocks. It was kind of small town, rural vibe. Travis was described by multiple people as being uh, kind of arrogant. Even the way that he wrote, which I get into on murderpm.com, Murder Pop Magazine, go check it out. Anyway, he's been described kind of in that vein, though Travis was also like pretty laid back, even keeled and um, extremely funny. Very creative, very funny, but um, like a strong personality. His freshman year at MSU, he's studying architecture and he meets this dairy science major named Ray. She is his future ex-wife. Uh, freshman year, Travis gets hit with the reality of unplanned fatherhood and ends up dropping out. This is the end of part one. Go check out part two. The Delia Day story is exclusive to Murder Pop Magazine, so go to murderpm.com and subscribe.